Now, you want to speak about the madness, you got to go to a town hall event uh, that happened uh, for Arlen Specter. Now, he uh, is doing the town halls as he normally does. He's going to take a set number of questions. They've picked them randomly. They've given out cards for the people who are going to ask the questions. This gentleman apparently did not get one. He's a little miffed. And then we're going to get into an uh, interesting little back and forth between him and our inspector. Let's watch. And it, and, 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 uh, you want to be, you want to be let, you want to be let out of here. You're welcome to go. Now wait a minute, now wait a minute, now wait a minute, now wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, he has a right to leave, he's right, he, he, ha he, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, he, wait a minute, wait a minute, you want to leave, leave. Because your people told me I could. I called your office and I was told I could have the mic to speak. And then I was lied to because I came prepared to speak. And instead, you wouldn't let anybody speak. You handed out, what, 30 cards? Well, I got news for you. That you and your cronies in the government do this kind of stuff all the time. Well, I don't care how I don't care how damn crooked you are. I'm not a lobbyist with all kind of money to stuff in your pocket so that you can tr cheat the, the pit citizens of this country. So I'll leave. And you can do whatever the hell you please to do. One day God's going to stand before you and he's going to judge you and the rest of your damn cronies up on the hill. And then you will get your just desserts. I'm leaving. Okay, okay, okay. We've just, uh, we've just had a, we've just had a demonstration of democracy. Okay. Uh, when when the gentleman says he is dissatisfied with the procedure, we have to figure out some way to have an orderly procedure. Uh, an hour an hour and a half is a fair amount of time, and we had a lot of notice that there would be a lot of people here, and we had his comment, and I made a decision that although he didn't have a car, to let him speak his piece. Look, uh, there is a certain way to do things, right? Like, now I've gone to events where I wanted to speak out, uh, and you didn't call on me. It happens, okay? I don't stand up and wave the Constitution and say, God is going to judge you! You taken away my rights. Okay, look, he's allowed to say whatever he wants. Let's say that he had gotten a question and he'd asked it in a civil way. All right, well, what I would have loved to have asked him is, what constitutional rights? What's being taken away? In fact, at some point in that uh, town hall, another guy got up and asked our inspector uh, a bunch of questions, again, angry, etc. And the inspector said, so how would you do things differently? And the guy was like, Okay, unfortunately, CNN didn't have that on tape, but uh, it's in the transcript of people say he was frozen for seconds, and then other people in the audience started to shout out things like, oh, say tort reform, say tort reform. He's like, tort reform, how about tort reform, right? And look, I liked it when the guy ch challenged them on taking the money from the lobbyists. You know, if they want to ask our inspector about tort reform, that's a perfectly legitimate question to ask. But we got to do this in a civil way. Now, and then the other guy got up, you see how emotions get heated, and pushed the guy who was trying to ask the question out of order, right? Don't do that. That's an assault, right? Now, look, the, on the flip side is, yes, that guy pushed him, and he definitely shouldn't have done that. It's not a federal case either. You know, everybody's going to be all right. So, but let's not get heated, man. Don't, get, don't 
Don't get suckered into playing their game and, and get angry and do anything that's going to cause any kind of trouble at all there. And look, the health care reform does not trample on your constitutional rights in any way, shape, or form. If you can make an argument about that, please come and make that argument, okay? It doesn't make any kind of sense. They got you angry and you don't know what the hell you're angry about. And it's uh, driving me crazy. And then the bottom line is, what was his main point? God's on my side and he's going to judge you when you die. Not much of a point, really. I mean, not that's the thing that you were so animated to tell Arlen Specter. I mean, there was no substance to it whatsoever. Now, look, so that's him getting worked up on that end, right? Oh, by the way, before we leave this topic, what would have happened if this guy came up and asked a question that he wasn't supposed to ask at that time and he was a Democrat or he wanted to ask a liberal question uh, back in the days when Bush was in charge? I think I remember. I think it sounded something like this. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. By the way, though, in all seriousness, that kid was asking a question that, you know, was a perfectly legitimate question that John Kerry. He asked it slightly out of order, not nearly as bad as this guy at Spectre's thing. And what they do, they taste the living crap out of him. That's how they used to roll back in the day. Now these guys are showing up and yelling and shouting and screaming and bringing guns. And shush, you can't say a word about it. Where are your tasers, cops? I don't, look, I don't want you to tase them. <laughs> don't tase them, bro. Don't tase them. But there's an enormous double standard here.